Hello, my name is Matias Cavodi. I'd like to welcome guys to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the new Warriors and more specifically issues 16 to 17. We have a story arc where the new Warriors have to go head to head against Terax. And um, this particular story, story arc actually made me do something terrible. After reading this story, I saw something here that I found out in the wild. And uh, it just led me down a path of frustration and rage and uh, I'm sort of getting ahead of myself but when you see what I'm talking about you're gonna understand why but the story itself is pretty awesome it's 90s as hell new warriors here actually was the first time to see a villain that was so powerful like I just got into collecting comic books and I saw Terrax in this power level and I was like oh shit this guy is the real deal and also I love the design to Terax because he feels, he looks 80s as hell within his design, but here he sort of has like this 90s flair to him. The, uh, the story is written by Fabian Nicias, um, art by Mark Bagley, and wow, his art, Mark Bagley's art in this uh, story art, at least, it's fantastic. Just look at it. He, it's some of his best work ever. And another thing is, what I noticed is something pretty important, at least for my history as a comic of a comic book collector because I used to buy the first comic books that I ever got in my collection at a, a supermarket near my uncle's house and you'd go up over on the weekends and uh, he would take when he would go shopping to the supermarket he would always buy me a comic book because he had the study at night so I need, need some silence I've told you guys this before in other videos so the comic books that I got at that supermarket, the first ones, are not in the best shape. But the one after this one, you're going to see the quality of the pages much better because I bought it at a comic book shop. It was like one of the first comic books I ever got at a comic book shop. So the quality is very noticeable. Pages are in much better shape. So in the previous issue, um, New Warriors were tussling against them uh they're, they're like a rival team they're like antagonists sort of villains but they weren't really really villains um they were called sonics i don't remember why i have the issue lost somewhere in my collection but this actually led to the reawakening of terax but when terax uh, pops up half the team of sonic says hey okay guys you guys can deal with that that's sort of not a thing they leave Two members of Sonic's stay behind. I think this guy's called Impulse, and this guy, Math Maniac, or something like that. He has these really weird telepathic powers that center around math, or something like that. We have a no holds bar, bar battle against Terrax. All the members of the New Warriors, which most a lot of members of the team are really hard, heavy hitters like Nova, Namorita, uh, Justice, even Speedball. Something that hasn't aged well at all <laughs> is the slang that they use. Uh, the Faven Isias tries to write them to sound cool, and things have not aged very well, but not at all. It just feels very dated. So the new warriors are just having a real hard time with Terax. Obviously, he used to be a herald of Galactus, so he's insanely powerful. There's one really awesome moment where Terax swats Speedball. Speedball flies into this like tube or very small space he starts bouncing around so fast and shoots out and he flies directly at terrax and straight up clobbers him and uh it's like a pretty epic blow but what i was going to tell you guys another thing that i really especially really liked speedball was when they would draw him i i always loved the detail of all those colored balls flying around him and stuff like that uh, i always thought it was super cool and it was something that really drew me to this character. Back when I was a young kid, I thought it was really awesome. I was just looking at this. You would have to call and play these telephone games. And I always wanted to call one of these things. And my parents like uh, told me, you do that and we'll kill you. Because these things were really, really expensive. <laughs> this one from the X-Men and there's another one from Ghost Rider. Speedball punches Terrax through a building, probably killed a bunch of people <laughs> by doing that. Terrax gets really pissed off, but realizes they're way out of their league and calls in the Fantastic Four, and we get one of the most 90s moments ever. Fantastic Four wielding gigantic guns. Like, you can't get more 90s than that. 
actually, I was thinking to myself if this was the first time I ever saw the Fantastic Four or not. And I remembered that prior to this, I had bought at that supermarket a Fantastic Four. One of the very few Fantastic Four issues that I actually bought. I don't know why I never collected Fantastic Four comic books. Where New Warriors team up with Fantastic Four to fight against the Puppet Master. So that was the first time I saw the Fantastic Four in action. Pretty familiar with these characters to um, the Marvel trading cards. Issue number 17. Again, this is 90s as hell. <laughs> with Thing and Nova with these gigantic guns. Just, the art is just fantastic. It, Bagley just does a killer job. I've not seen this thing with the Game Genie. I remember having one of these. But funny in this issue, Night Thrasher gets bent out of shape. That's some that Nova went and called this Fantastic Four for help. He's like, I trained you guys, you're the best. Why would you do something like that? He sort of takes it like a betrayal. The thing is, look at Namorita's costume. Like, it's always in small panels, but it looks weird as hell. <laughs> this was only used in one story arc. So, the Fantastic Four New Warriors discover they can't defeat um, Terax. They call in for some help, and... If this was the first time I ever saw Silver Surfer in action, I opened this page and I went, holy shit, look at this illustration, it's freaking awesome. Silver Surfer was the coolest thing ever, and what happened was, uh, after seeing this comic book, I was aware of the Silver Surfer, and I saw his video, N N Nintendo video game, the NES game, at a local pawn shop. So I said, hey, that's the character from New Warriors. That He was so awesome. His game has got to be awesome too. I bought it. And then that game, I raged quit so many times playing that game. It was so, so freaking hard. I hated it. So frustrated. I couldn't finish any level on the fucking game. I, I think I reached a, one or two bosses once on that game. If not all... Um, um, Nintendo games with Marvel licenses were terrible. I think all, all, almost all of them were made by LJN. I think the Wolverine one was the only one worthwhile playing. So, Surfer grabs Terax, takes him to an uninhabited planet. Menace is over. New Warriors go back to their normal lives. And I'm going to leave this video here. And if you haven't read old school,